Welcome to Triple G. Triple G, you say? Guns, gears, and gadgets. So, it's gonna be my show. I love guns, I love gear, I love gadgets. Sounds a bit wrong, but you know what I mean. So, we're gonna be looking at all sorts of air guns, bullet guns, night vision, day vision, pellets, slugs, knives, everything that I like. How's that? Stay tuned. Now today, we're out using my Red Wolf, and this is really exciting. It's a slug day. I love slugs. Not the ones you find in the garden, not them. The new slugs, not air pellets, slugs. It's all about the slugs. Good morning. What are we doing today, I wonder? Let me tell you. Oh, hello. There's a pigeon in the tree. So, first uh, pigeon down, lovely job, 86 yards it was. Range found it, 86 yards, done and dusted. And again, using Pro Hunter slugs. What's the advantage of slugs? Well, from what I've seen and what I've heard and what I've read, um, they don't take as much wind as a pellet and they keep going. A pellet will run out of steam at a certain distance. These things, with the BC ballistic coefficient of them being so much better than pellets, they go and go and go. They go on and on a bit like me. But the fact is, they're very, very, very good. Now, does your gun shoot slugs? The diff it's a really difficult one because some guns do, some guns don't. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people said the only ones, the only guns that will shoot slugs properly are the FX impacts and the FX guns with these smooth twist barrels. Yes, that's right. They do shoot them, but there's a lot of setting up to do. Now I've got a Red Wolf running 56 foot pounds, 54 foot pounds, 54 to 56. Will this shoot slugs? It's got Lothar Wolf a barrel, right? But it's the art barrel. Now, it, to get them to shoot, to get this to shoot slugs properly has taken forever. It's just a little bit here, a little bit of power, too much, too little, da da da. Do I need a clean barrel? Do I need a dirty barrel? Well, today is all about shooting slugs and what we have to do. I shot a load, load, load of slugs the other day, uh, 80 plus, and the barrel was as dirty as goodness knows what. There is a joke there, but I'm not gonna go there. Um, it needs cleaning, you need to stay on top of it. With a smooth twist, because obviously the contact area, I guess, I guess, is less than, than an art barrel, which is like a polygon barrel, I, 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 maybe you don't have to clean them as much, but you do have to clean this, let me tell you. And if you want the groups to be tight, and very, very, very good at distance. You need a clean barrel, well I do. It might not be for you, but this needs a clean barrel and it needs high pressure. So I fill this up to the safe working pressure, right, is 250 bar and I use 250 bar. I go down to about one, sorry, 220 and then have to refill it. It needs to have that oomph, yeah. Um, let's have a look at some targets, or better better target shooting with it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, go from there. You make your own mind up. I'll tell you this though, they're surprisingly good. Right, so I've loaded up the magazine, five Pro Hunter slugs. Right, we've got a target out at 100 yards. Let's see what we can do today, shall we? Yes, we will. Right, I've just dialed it in, so it's 41 clicks. I've got to make sure that's right, because I think the bit, I think it's going to be wrong. I think it's going to be high, because I think the BC on Straylock is wrong. That's my fault, of course. I'm no Stephen Hawking when it comes to like, you know, programming these things, let me tell you. Now, I'm going to do five shots at 100, get a nice little group. The gun's clean, it's all ready to go. We've got plenty of air, so we're good to go with that as well. The breeze, two, three mile an hour, if that, so there's nothing to worry about. Got everything ready to go, let's see how we do. Right, so I've just done five shots at 100. Uh, first shot was way high, so I've come down. It said dial in 41 clicks, which is 10.2. So I've gone down to nine MOA. Uh, so I've gone down, I've gone down from 10.2 to nine. Uh, I'm gonna tell Straylock now on my uh, app what I've done, and it'll work out the BC and the speed of the uh, projectile and what have you. Now. As I said, I thought it would be wrong. I thought it would go higher because these things, just the BC of them is so, so good. Right, so I'm gonna put it into there and then it will, it will do all the calculations for me. 
thank the Lord, because I can't do it. Um, I'll do that, and we'll do another five shots, shall we? Calculate, so done. Calculate, use this speed. Lovely. Calculate, so it's gone from 10.2 to nine. Right, so we've made the calculation in Straylock. Instead of it 10.2, it's nine. That's sorted, so hopefully, I say that, nine, perfect. So, the first group was a little bit high, obviously, because uh, we hadn't fed in the correct information. It's now, we've uh, done it all, we've uh, validated it, as it's called. Let's try and get another group, um, even tighter, at 100. Once we've done that, we'll push it out further, because, you know, these slugs are incredible. Now. If your gun shoots them, if you find a slug that your gun likes, oh my goodness, buy as many as you can. They're fantastic. Now, a lot of people want to go, they just want to go shooting like pigeons and rabbits and all that. I understand that, but yes, you can, and you can go further with these. However, right, you've got to learn what's, what it's all about. First of all, you've got to see what your grouping's like at these different distances. And this is the strange thing with slugs, right? They don't group very well at 25 yards. But the further you go, the better it gets. I know, how weird is that? So it wobbles a bit, but once it's stopped wobbling, it writes itself, whereas a pellet will keep wobbling and get worse, exponentially worse, exponentially worse rather. If you're shooting 100 yards with these, it, they might not group at 25 and you'll think they're rubbish. Don't, go out to 50, go out to 100 and see if they work. In this barrel, the Pro Hunter slugs work a treat. Less chat, more shooting. Dead center, perfect. Dead center, perfect. Lovely. Yes, Pro Hunter slugs do work, and they definitely, the 22.8s work beautifully. Right, last one. I think the word is drilling. Right, so first shot was high. I took it down, down to there. So it was 10.2 as it said, it's down to nine MOA. So lovely, three shots there, great stuff. My second group is obviously hit some foliage on the way through and pulled it left. The other four are there, tiny little group. Whose is this, you may ask? My mate CJ, he's down here for the day with me, having a day shooting. We've been talking about it for ages and ages and ages. I said, come down, have a giggle. Now he shoots centre fire and rim fire and what have you. FAC air, is he gonna be any good at it? Sadly, yes. Annoying. One, two, three, four and he pulled the last one. Got from that. But yeah, great little shot. Now, again, there is wind, there is wind, but it doesn't seem to be moving it very much. I don't understand it. These things are incredible. They just go and go and go. This is 100 yards. I'm wondering if we go back to 150 maybe, see what we can do there. I mean, that is center of pigeon all day. No problem. I mean, it really is. Now, because you can shoot that far, does it mean you should shoot that far? It's up to you. I mean, to be honest, I keep my distances sensible. For target, I'll go as far as I can. For live quarry, I have issues with it. If I shoot 150 yards and I don't hit it properly, it moves, whatever. These things happen, you know that. There's a moral dilemma, really, because it's 150 yards. I'm not the thinnest bloke in the world. Yes, my gym has closed, right? Can I get 150 yards just to put it out of his misery? I keep my, my, I keep my distances sensible. Up to you though, that's, a, that's entirely up to you. But will they do it at 150 yards? I think they will. Right, let's go back and shoot some more. Right, we've just done some groups. You've seen those. They're pretty darn good, aren't they? Could you do that with a centre fire? I don't know, some people could, a lot of people could. Not everyone. But this was an air gun. Right, running 56 foot pounds. With the slugs, it's not, it's slightly slower because there's a bigger contact area in the, in the barrel, or the, the, sorry, the slug has a bigger contact area. Therefore, it slows it down a little bit. Now, instead of doing 974 foot per second, I'm getting about 944, um, but it's still working absolutely beautifully. 
groups are coming on really, really well. I'm glad there's a breeze because it's just showing me how much they don't take, which is really good. I mean, what distance do they start taking? I don't know. We're going to push the target out to 130 yards. Well, I think it's 133 and all. That's the biggest we can get in this area here, right? Safely anyway. Um, we're going to stick it out to 133. Let's see what that does. I think I know the answer and I think the answer is going to be brilliant. <laughs> Pulled that one, idiot. These are really good. These are really, really good. I pulled a shot because I'm stupid, but you know that anyway. This is not news to you. Unbelievable. Let's go and have a look. So 133 yards. I aimed dead center, first shot went in. And you know when you go, that, that's luck. One, two, three, four, five. That, that's incredible. This one, was my fault. I went boom, and you'll notice that if you watch the video back, it was just slightly that. Also, I did feel as it cycled, it would, it caught a little bit. It went, but that's no, that's no other hint or there. 133 yards. That's incredible. That is incredible. Right. Let's look there, there to there. That's well, look. There's an inch. Yeah. Inch. That's the inch mark. That's on the edge. That's mad. That's mad. These things are brilliant. I think we need to take it even further now. Where do we go now? Right, so we've just finished shooting. It's been amazing. I, I, I'm blown away by these slugs. I got into this a little while ago and I've seen the videos from South Africa, the guys out there doing amazing things. I wanna do that, I thought. But my gun is a polygon barrel on this. It's not a smooth twist. Would it work? Well, it, I tried a lot of slugs and they were all okay. And then these little bad boys came along, Pro Hunter Slugs. It's just totally rewritten everything, yeah. 22.8 grain, working this beautifully. I tried the 24s, not so good. I even cleaned the barrel, I did this, did that, did everything you have to do, but they just wouldn't group. The 22.8s, lovely. Um, you can see we've got some cracking, uh, cracking little groups up there, on here rather. From 100 yards to out to 133 yards we've been shooting today. It has been wonderful there is a breeze you can hear it um yeah and they don't seem to go like a pellet goes miles out these things stay true longer what we need to do next is push them a bit further like let's go to 150 200 let's have a go at that that will be really interesting for me um will your gun shoot slugs i don't know you've got to sort of suck it and see they're not the cheapest things i've got to be honest but like all things you know, all things that are really good are worth the money. You don't go in a Ferrari dealership and say, I've got five grand, I'll have that, because they'll just laugh at you. You get it come out with a key ring. They are a couple of quid, but I think they're worth it. Now, today, this gun has been faultless. The only thing I will say is slugs like a bit of speed. They like, they like a bit of oomph. So I had to fill this up and keep it at its sweet spot. Now, I know it's regulated, electronically regulated and all that, Unfortunately, they need, from 250 to 220 is about all you're going to get. Really, really, really consistent. Um, oh yeah, this bipod, let me tell you about this. Uh, my friend, Chris, at Country Sports Wholesale, said, got a bipod, bipod's a bipod, have a go at this one. It's a proper bit of kit. I really like this. It's not heavy by any stretch. Carbon fibre, all the best things are, clearly. Um, really, really great. Thanks ever so much for that, Chris. Vortex Viper, PST, or no PST, it's a Diamondback Tactical 62450. Uh, first focal plane, lovely, lovely bit of kit and things, yeah? That's down to gun room, cheers. Now, today has been a really interesting day. Is there a place for pellets? Yes, of course there is. 85, 90 yards, and, and maybe a bit further for target. I mean, I don't do quarry at that range. Yeah, not with those really. I mean, I have done, but it's just, I, I don't, it, again, it's a moral dilemma thing. These, on the other hand, 
it's a question of should you or would you? Yes, you can. Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, that's minute of pigeon at 130 yards plus with ease. Would you? I don't know. But the choice is yours. It's up to you. Now, don't just buy these slugs. Buy lots of different slugs and go through them all. Yeah, find out what your barrel likes. Don't forget to clean your barrel. You must, must clean it. These things, because again, the surface area, the contact area is bigger. These, they get so dirty. They really, really do. Insert Essex girl joke. Anyway, they are proper, proper dirty. So you do need to keep up like pulling it through and giving it a, a clean. Try as many slugs as you can, but I'll tell you this, for this gun, the only one for me is the 22.8 Pro Hunter. They are, these slugs work so, so well. Now I understand, I talked to Graham, lovely fella he is as well, and he's working on a 28 grain. Now I'd be interested to see whether that would make a difference. I wonder, because from 22.8 to 24, there's not that much difference, but yet they didn't work. Maybe a bigger jump, they might work. I want to get some of those. I want to try them. I want to try them at all the distances. And there goes the old uh, target, always Andy. What I want to do is push it out as far as I can. I want to see what they actually are capable of. How far can you go with a slug? Again, the guys in South Africa are pushing it like ridiculous. They're just showing off, aren't they? Let's be honest. But now they're doing really well. And the, the stuff they're hitting, it hits with such authority. And I've noticed, you know, even shooting the target today, 130, it whacks it. It doesn't go like a pet, like that. it goes whack. And it really does make a noise. They're fantastic. I, I'm, I've always been pellets and things. And again, there is always a place for pellets. There really is. But these things, if you haven't looked at them, have a look at them. It's worth a look. So while I'm sitting here talking to you lot, pigeons are flying around everywhere. Um, I've got air, I've got some slugs left. Not many, mind. Um, let's go and trim a few off, shall we? Because they do need it. There are so many. It's like Pigeon Central here. Anyway, listen, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Triple G. I've been Roger Late. I'll see you very soon.